Hi again. I'm gonna offer another chair yoga sequence. So this is pretty gentle. I think anybody can do it and you can do what feels right and skip what doesn't. Grab a chair and make sure it's not gonna slip. You could put it on a yoga mat or just have it on the ground as long as it's not too slidey. And go ahead and sit closer to the edge of the chair so your feet are flat on the floor and your spine can be upright. And we'll close eyes and just take a couple of breaths. As you inhale, feel your lungs expanding. you exhale, feel that same area contracting and releasing. As you inhale, you might use that natural expansive quality to sit a little taller, feel the torso open, lengthen. As you exhale, using that natural descending quality to get a little more grounded, feel what's touching the chair, what's touching the floor. Maybe release the shoulders or relax your face a bit more. You can let your eyes open Feel free to open and close your eyes as it's useful for you. We'll start by turning the head one way. Turn it as far as you can. Still sitting nice and tall, looking over your shoulders. See how far back you can see. And then go the other way, as far as you can. Go back the first direction. And then again, the other way. And back to center. Drop one ear over to one shoulder and press down through both shoulders, looking for a stretch on one side of the neck. Rotate your chin to your chest and come all the way over to the other side. Both shoulders drop. A little more through one shoulder, looking for a stretch on that side of the neck. Mm. Rotate your chin to your chest. Come back to the first side and then a couple little circles side to side. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there. Interlace your fingers behind your head and let your elbows hang down. Stretch in the back of your neck. Release the arms down, head floats back up, and then a few big shoulder circles, circling your shoulders up and back and down. Nice deep breaths. So let's bring the right arm up and over into a side bend, reaching through the fingers. You can lean into the other hand or if you have an arm on your chair, lean into the arm. Still keeping that right hip grounded so you don't tip off of it. Both sit bones drop. And over to the other side. Big side stretch. And then release. Come up. Bring your right arm up. Bend it straight back on itself. Grab your elbow. 
and then take it back as far as you can. As you do this, try and drop through the rib cage, drop through the belly. Still feel your sit bones into the chair, lengthening up away from that. And then release, right arm up. Open it out and take it across. Hook with the other arm, hug it in nice and close. As you do this, try and draw back through your right shoulder. So you're still square across your chest, still sitting nice and tall. Hmm. And then release, arm out. Rotate your thumb to point down. Bring it around behind your back, so back of your hand is at your waist. Interlace your fingers at your waist, just as much as you can. Pull your knuckles around towards the front, as much as you can. Elbows go towards one another, as if they're gonna touch. They probably won't, but just go in that direction. And then circle your right shoulder. So we're purposefully seeking out places that might be a little tight or creaky, so be gentle. Some things feeling like you need to be careful about it, slow down. And then keeping fingers interlaced, reach both arms back and down, opening up through the chest. And then if you like, you could fold forward here. It might be just dropping the head, a slight lean, or you may come further down, maybe even over your legs. Just working with your body. You don't have to have mobility you don't have, feeling right where you are. And then release, come up few big shoulder circles. Nice deep breaths the whole time. Let's take the left arm up now, bend it straight back on itself, grab your elbow, and take it back. Draw the ribs in, the belly in. Make sure your sit bones are grounded, feet flat. left arm up, open it out, take it across, hook with the other arm, hug it in close. Let's release that arm out, rotate your thumb to point down, wrap it around behind your back, so back of your hand is at your waist. This time when you go to interlace your fingers, try the other thumb on top, the way you don't normally cross. Pull the knuckles around towards the front as much as you can, elbows go towards one another just as much as you can, and then circle your left shoulder. We're just exploring the range of motion we have. If you keep exploring the range of motion you have, it's more likely to stay or slightly increase. Whatever you don't move for a while may decrease in range. So we want to keep all our joints nice and healthy through movement. Reach both arms back now and either just sit upright, opening the chest, or a little fold forward. It could be just a slight drop or maybe all the way over your legs. And then release, come up. Couple big shoulder circles. Good, let's
Let's reach both arms out, fingers point up, pull the fingers back towards you strongly. You might feel a little tingling through your forearms, pressing out through the base of your hand. And then curl from fingertips down, pulling the knuckles in as much as you can. And then flex. And pull the fingers in one more time. Keep reaching out as you circle your wrists, big circles. You might feel all those little muscles of the forearms flexing and stretching. take a twist. So we'll bring the left hand across to the outside of the right knee and the right hand around wherever you can reach on your chair, wherever is comfortable for you. As you inhale, sit a little taller. As you exhale, rotate, looking back over your shoulder. Try to keep the lower body square so knees still point straight ahead. One more deep breath here. We'll go the other way. So you can just hold wherever you're able on your chair as you inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, twist. Last breath. And then release back around to the front. Okay, let's cross the right ankle above the left knee and lean forward. You can slightly press that right knee down. Should feel stretch on the right outer hip here. Maybe just a slight lean is enough. If you're feeling a big stretch, you don't need to go any further. If you're not feeling anything yet, you might lean forward a little more or try and lengthen your spine a bit more. So we're trying to find our own edges and we all have different edges flexibility, strength, what's possible for this body today. So just feeling, is there a little bit more length, maybe a little bit more folding, and at any point you might just back out a little if it gets to be too much. You don't want to blow past your edge, that's how we hurt ourselves. So being very gentle and breathing. <sighs> release. Let's extend this leg out. Flex and point your foot a few times. Circle your ankle a couple times in both directions. And then we'll do the other side. Left ankle over the right knee. Lean forward. Going in the direction of a flat back in the direction of folding. And then you meet your edge, breathing there. And as we go towards what's tight, sometimes there's a little reactivity. Your shoulders might lift or your face grimace. So where, where you are right now, feeling what you're feeling, is it possible to let your shoulders relax, let your jaw release, relax the muscles around your eyes? Extend that leg out, flex and point. A couple big circles going both directions. Okay, so we're going to stand up and take a stretch that's similar to down dog using the chair. And you can either use the seat or the top. And again, make sure it doesn't slide. You can just walk your feet back enough that you can pull the hips back. So this is a lot like downward facing dog, but no pressure on the wrists, a little bit less pressure on the hamstrings. If that's too much, so again, you might use the back of your chair instead. Pulling the set bones back, breathing here, whichever one works for you. up and we're going to take a lunge. If you feel like you might slip, if you're wearing socks, definitely take your socks off. If you have a yoga mat, that could help. 
We're just going to bring one leg forward and the other leg back. And you can choose a depth of lunge that feels right for you. Further apart will be more intensity. Closer together will be less. And you're just going to bend and straighten that front leg. Try and drop through the tail and lift up through the belly. So you might look for a stretch at the front of the hips. So we're just going to straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. One thing to be aware of when you bend is that your knee doesn't come forward of your ankle. So you don't want it to go way out over the toes, but just above the ankle. Stay slow. Let's take one more. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Other leg forward, choosing a distance that feels right for you. And you can always adjust it, shimmying the back leg back. When you bend, make sure the knee stays above the ankle, not going forward of it. And then we'll straighten and bend. Tail dropping, belly lifting, nice, slow, smooth movement. One more. Good. Okay, let's stand. And you can hold the chair with one hand or two hands if you need a little more support. And we'll just lift the heels and lower, nice and slow. If you don't need the support of the chair, you can just barely touch it or like hot potato. But if you feel like you might fall, then definitely hold on to it. See how slowly you can lift and lower, really controlling heels up and down. Let's do two more up. And down, up, and down. Okay, let's take a one-legged balance. So one hand can be at the chair, and we're going to take one foot off the floor, and you have several options. This could be a very gentle tree pose, just foot to the inside of the ankle. You could bring it higher if you're able. Or, for those of you who can, you could get a quad stretch here. This isn't for everybody. If it's not for you, go back to one of the other options. And again, if you don't need the chair, you can play hot potato or barely have it. But if you need it, it's there. Let's release. Shake that out. And same thing other side need to turn so you can hold with the other hand so your foot can again be on the inside of your ankle the inside of your leg or you might reach back for your foot whatever you did on the other side breathing here standing nice and tall and see how little pressure you can have on that chair if you don't need it maybe you could even have your hand just hover one leg back five times. As you do this, see if you can keep your knees in line with one another so your knee doesn't come forward but stays right in line. So we're just going to lift the heel up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. This is strengthening for the hamstring. One more. Down, in case you can't feel that, I can feel it. Same thing, other side. Up and down, trying to keep the knees together or in line with one another. Up and down, up and down, up and down. One more. 
great. Let's stretch the backs of the legs again, that down dog type position, either at the top of the chair or the bottom. And then come back to a seat. And we'll just take a short meditation. So you can get comfortable on your chair, either sitting forward or if you would prefer to sit back for this, you're welcome to. And have your arms be wherever you're comfortable on your lap. You can close your eyes. And you can let go of the control of your breath, but see if you can just still notice that you are breathing. there's any unnecessary tension, see if you can let it go on your next exhale, letting the weight of your body settle back into the chair. Letting the muscles of your face totally relax. even just for a few moments, nothing to figure out, nothing to fix or plan, just allowing yourself to simply be. Bring a little bit of movement back into your fingers and toes, just wiggling them around. And then circle your wrists and ankles and take a big stretch through your arms. Mm. You might imagine you just woke up from a nap, really refreshed, revitalized, ready to start your day again. We'll bring hands together at the heart. Mm. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for practicing with me today. Thanks for taking good care of yourself, moving your body, breathing, taking a moment. Enjoy the rest of your day.